The Zero Shadow Day was observed at the NGP school on Monday, 18th of April 2022 at 12.21 p.m. It's now 12.10 p.m. Over here we can see some shadow of the pole left. But when it's exactly 12.19 p.m., there will be none of it. Zero Shadow Day is a special celestial event that occurs twice a year. On this day, no shadows will appear of objects or of living beings that are perpendicular to the ground when the sun is at its highest point in the sky. This effect lasts only for a few seconds, but mostly it will last up to like a minute and a half or so. The sun doesn't pass exactly over our head at noon. Contradictory to the popular opinion, you could test this yourself by looking at the shadow of a vertical pole at noon. It either passes north or south of Zenith except for two zero shadow days. But this phenomenon doesn't apply at Delhi, which lies 28 degrees north of latitude. This is the reason the zero shadow day doesn't occur at Delhi. On the zero shadow day, when the sun crosses the local meridian and when the sun's rays fall exactly on the vertical plane to an object, no one can observe the shadow of the object. The areas between positive 23.5 and negative 23.5 degree latitudes can only experience the zero shadow days. On the day of equinox, the people residing on the line of the equator can experience this zero shadow day twice a year. That was so cool. I learned so much about the movements of the celestial bodies today and I'm sure you did too. That was a wonderful experience. There was no appearance of shadow because the sun was directly overhead. That was in fact thrilling. But this is no magic. This is a celestial phenomenon that occurs twice in a year for the latitudes between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn at noon when the sun is highest in the sky. There are only certain parts of a year and certain times of a day you can experience the subsolar point or Lahaina noon. And this occurs mostly between December 22 to June 21, referred as Uttrayan, when the sun moves towards north. And June 21 to December 22, referred as Dakshinayan, when the same sun moves towards south. Between this, for two days, at any given time, the sun will be at zenith, meaning overhead at the highest point. This is because the sun does not move from east to west, instead moves from north to south, for the latitudes between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. So, you have to be in the right place at the right time with no clouds. The sun will be directly overhead and no casting of shadow will happen to fall at your foot as stated by I. K. Lenin, Tamil Coven, Scientific Officer, Peria Science and Technology Center. Thank you.